sometimes people are surprised when I say I'm a black female scientist because they don't think black people or people from ethnic minorities or females go into science, but they're so wrong. To me, what makes a scientist is being inquisitive. It's wanting to know things and understand things. So if you're that sort of person, if you're inquisitive and you want to know more, science is the perfect job. My background um, has not been a um, disadvantage in terms of my pro progression. I think, because what you have to remember about science, science is an international um, sort of language in itself. You know, when you go to conferences, you'll see people of a wide variety of background. If anything, I've actually received sort of the more sort of positive discriminatory sort of comments like, you know, oh, oh it will be easy for you to get into wherever because, you know, you tick all the boxes, you know, you minority and you're a girl and they, they love one of those who can also do science and do computing. Because I'm one of the only girls doing theoretical physics and I'm one of the only Indian girls doing theoretical physics, it's just, it's very easy for me to stand out so it's very easy for me to feel different um, but all I've done with it really is just use it as a driver to make myself recognised for my ability rather than anything else so it's pushed me to be better. In a lot of circumstances that I've come across um, despite, despite the fact that I'm minority in race and in gender when I make a technical point my expertise is respected People have to listen to me when I give an opinion on the area that I'm expert in. I think it's quite, it's quite clear cut in the engineering um, community that if you have got a point, you can convince others. In terms of my own experiences within the Caribbean community, I suppose that over the years I've, I've managed to exercise what what we, I would call a bicultural competence uh, and that is that you've got to be competent in the area that you're interested in but you've also got to still keep the connections with your community uh, because that's important. I suppose working in science, you know, I started off in chemistry, then moved to pharmacology and nutrition. Um, I've always kind of been, I suppose, one of very few black people around, you know, ethnic minority people around. Um, it's not something that's ever really bothered me because all the people that I've been with, I suppose I consider to be fairly educated, intelligent people. And, you know, they've always been quite friendly. And, you know, I think some of the negativity associated with the colour thing is ignorance and I don't know these people around me seem pretty enlightened so it's never been a problem. My mother has always been a bit concerned you know oh so were there any other um, ethnic people there and it's like no no I was the only one and she's like oh okay you know always a bit concerned. In science there are no barriers as to where you come from what your background is what your nationality is or what your age is you basically try and pursue your curiosity to some goal and once you succeed, you know, it drives you forward.